I know you know it, but this lawsuit's changed things. In one of the stores today, I saw Jenny. I waved low, and she turned away. I wouldn't have bothered the old Charlotte. Well, the old Charlotte was younger. How are they treating you? Most of them aren't talking to me either, except for the occasional insult. Lizzie said I should be ashamed of myself. Guy at Tom's work asked him why he can't control his wife. Mm. Says this is what he gets for having a wife that worked. Father Mackey said we're wrong for doing this, for backing you, that we're just asking for trouble, that we're embarrassing the town, that the company was the best thing to happen in this place, and what we're doing, what you're doing, ruins it for everyone. When did everyone we know become strangers? You know what they all think, don't you? I think I know, but tell me anyway. They say you just want money. There isn't any money. Or don't they read that part? I think they ignore it. They say you want publicity. There are easier ways. They ever think of that? That you want sympathy. Maybe the headlines make it seem that way. Maybe they want me to want sympathy, pity, because they're afraid of what I really want. Tell me what that is. Because when I wake up in the morning and put my body back together, I pray that you know what you're doing. I want to win. I have a backup plan. At least I'll go down swinging. I put you up to this. I lost. A bet. Fair and square. I'm sorry. I knew it would be hard. I didn't think it would be horrible. I'm sorry. I just want to apologize. I chose this. It was up to me. The old Katie wouldn't be able to do it. She was younger then, too. Mm. <laughs> yeah, friend, do yeah. And you're my hero. Mrs. Donahue came to the hearing today supported by her husband and a friend. Once healthy and alert, she weighed only 71 pounds and could hardly stand alone. In her testimony, she explained, with the guidance of her attorney, You were what age when you started work for the company? Nineteen. Mrs. Donaghy, please speak clearly for the record. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. And your specific work was to? We'd paint the wash styles with a powder, a radium compound. We'd point the brush between our teeth, dip it in the water, then in the powder. But it got everywhere. My hands glowed. My clothes hanging in the dark closet glowed. When I walked home at night, I glowed. From the radium powder? Yes, Your Honor. Shortly after her testimony, Mrs. Donahue took out her purse, a small jewelry box. You tell the courtroom exactly what is in this box, Mrs. Donahue. Two pieces of bone. Bones of what, Mrs. Donahue? They're mine. They were removed from my job. At this point, Mr. Donahue, husband of Catherine, wept. Street. Street. Uh, yes. Think I was gonna hit you or something, huh? You look good, Mr. Street. Um, thank you, Mr. Donahue. My shoes, my suit, thank you. You look like a successful man. Like a real success. Well, uh, I appreciate How many walks did it take to buy all that, huh? Mr. Donahue. Just asking. See, Katie made eight cents a watch. We thought that was a lot. We thought we were living like kings. One look at you and I can see who the king really is. I just worked there too. I just did my job. I didn't know. I'm so tired. 
I don't even care that you're lying to me right now. I, I lied to me too. Yeah, but at a certain point, you knew. You knew. Excuse me, please. Did you serve? What? Did you serve in the war? You fight? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Didn't get drafted? Didn't enlist? No. I did. I signed up. Seems like a million years ago. I saw things that no human being should ever have to see. Guy comes back from something like that. He can't believe in God anymore. It's impossible. Anyone will tell you that. I was raised to believe in God and the saints and the miracles, but then there was this war. And after it, I can't believe in anything good. The first time I see Katie, the first thing, the only thing I think when I see her face is that there has to be a God. Because he made her. And I'm a praying man again. Talk about a miracle. Did you know they pulled the bones out of her body while she was still alive? Just lifted them right out. I was supposed to grow old with this woman. I was supposed to die with her. Maybe I already have. Can you tell me how I live my life now? Can you tell me what I'm supposed to do with all this goddamn time? I have to go. I have to see my kids. Get home before they go to bed. Listen to them. Listen to me. A little by. Even though we're all too old for it. It's part of our routine. It helps us feel better. It's just something that we do. Oh, and sir, just so you know, every morning I wake up and wonder if today's the day that I'm going to kill Rufus Reed. <laughs> 